a number of people on Cup of Linux informed me that the KDE developers have their own distribution. I was completely and totally unaware of this. And they told me about KDE Neon. So I figured, well, why don't I go and have a look at it? So what I did was I downloaded their latest user release. I did not, uh, I chose to not to opt for the developer release. Instead, I wanted to see what they have to offer to the end users. There'll be a link in the description where you can download and look at this. I had a, a, a you know, I, I had a little bit of time this morning to look at this, and what can I say? I am nothing short of impressed. That could very well mean my next video, after this one, I'm going to have a KDE desktop, a uh, plasma desktop, on top of my uh, Manjaro installation. Let's have a look and see what you get. So this is the latest snapshot of the uh, KDE Neon desktop. I downloaded that this morning and installed it. This is uh, installed in my sandbox environment in VirtualBox on a virtual SSD drive. And let me tell you, this is fast and snappy. Okay, you have your pancake menu where you can add your uh, widgets, configure your desktop, and that sort of thing. The typical setup, and one of these days I'm going to figure out how to get rid of this button because I don't need it. And then um, you have uh, options to add features here, okay? By clicking the Add Widgets button, they have all kinds of really cool widgets that you can add to your panel to extend its functionality. This is really slick stuff here, okay? And you can also configure under uh, more settings here uh, how you want that panel to align, left, right, center, that sort of thing, and you have other visibility options available to you as well. Um, the default setting with a, a simple clock and calendar. I love how that looks. All right. You also have uh, status notifications right here, a volume control. Um, it looks like they have a vault feature. I don't know what that is. I'll have to explore that. Uh, your network configuration. And even though this is today's snapshot, or was it yesterday's? I'm not sure. There's updates for this, so I understand this is under rapid development. Okay, and then what we have here is a very basic setup, and this is what blew me away. Uh, this is built on top of uh, Ubuntu 18.04, okay, and only the basics are included in this. So this is a nice base system that you can build on top of. And if you're a fan of the uh, Ubuntu flavors, this is a good choice for you, okay? All right, so a few favorites here. But basically, um, a number of gra uh, a few graphics applications are thrown in. Just uh, Firefox for web browsing. Just VLC for multimedia. Ocular document viewer in the office suite. So you'll need to pick out the office suite that you want. A quick launch to your system settings. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, file manager, software center, and other things that you'll find useful. And a few simple little utilities to help you get the most of the system. Let's get into uh, some of the interesting stuff here. I never did like this style of menu. And what's really nice is here, you can right click on the button and select alternatives. Okay. And you have a choice. You can switch to an application dashboard. And then on clicking this, now you have some categories uh, that you can go through to find the application that you're looking for, or you can type to search. This is a neat little layout. Personally, not my thing. Okay. We can uh, also pick another alternative, and that is the application menu. And I have to say, I think I like this one the best. Okay. And what's nice about these, they each have customization options. So by right-clicking and then configure that application menu. Now you can change a few things. You can change its icon. Um, 
You can flatten the menu, sort things alphabetically, however you want to do all this stuff. You can, you know, um, change how your categories are displayed and a number of other things here. And it looks like you can also uh, set up a keyboard shortcut for this to launch it. I like this design and layout. I think it's pretty, and uh, this is something I would definitely use. All right, let's go into settings here in the system settings. Okay, and just a few things are thrown in here, but you'll remember in my last KDE video, I basically described, you know, that, um, you know, you can just download through this interface here. You can download new themes. So there's only two, Breeze and Breeze Dark. When I clicked on this, I had never seen Breeze Dark before. And that immediately sold me on this desktop. I like how this looks, and it even has colors that resembles my uh, MCOL theme uh, that I use uh, for GTK. So this would actually match the MCOL theme that I made that I'm running on my main desktop right now. So guess what? You sold me on this. I'm interested. I think I'm going to try out... Uh, I'm going to try this out because, I mean, I'm a big Compiz fan, and Compiz will work with Plasma. All right? You have some desktop themes as well. Okay, we're using the Breeze Dark right now, but you can pick a number of other ones. And of course, by selecting Get New Themes, you can go into the uh, Settings Add-on Installer, and there are tons of themes uh, that have been uh, put in by the community. So you can install, uninstall, mix and match, and you can really customize this and make it your own. Uh, only two cursor themes came with this. And that's perfectly fine. You can add more down the line if you need them. I think the default breeze is perfect enough for most people. You can also configure your splash screen. Um, basically, uh, it only gives you one. That's all you need. You know, so they wanted to keep it on the light end. And um, as a matter of fact, this does not use a whole lot of memory. Let's open up a terminal. And... It's telling me here that this has used uh, 521 megs of RAM, which is uh, considerably less than what um, my XFCE desktop is using at present. But then again, I have a bunch of stuff running at startup. This isn't using much at all. So this is definitely uh, worth my taking a look at. Looks like uh, they figured out a way to uh, slim down KDE. Uh, so I'm very interested in giving this a shot and playing with it. If you think this is something that is of interest to you, um, click the link in the description, visit the KDE Neon website, download a copy of this ISO and slap it on your machine and play with it. Uh, so I guess I've already told you what my next video is going to be. I'm going to install um, the Plasma desktop on top of my Manjaro installation. I'm going to still keep LightDM. I'm not going to use their default display manager. I like LightDM and I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to go ahead and install Plasma Desktop. I'm going to see if I can spatriize it and get it to completely match everything that I have set up. And then uh, in my next video, uh, I guess I'll show up uh, what I did with KDE. I think that's a good little plan. Um, so until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.